Hello everyone, my name is Neha and this is the fourth lecture on electronic circuits. In this lecture, we are going to learn about uh, MOSFETs and their characteristics. We will also see MOSFETs uh, biasing techniques and then handling the MOSFETs. So let's begin with MOSFETs and their characteristics. MOSFET stands for metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor and uh, it consists of three terminals. Uh, gate, source and drain uh, which are very similar to your JFET and the key difference if we see between the MOSFET and the JFET is that in MOSFET uh, the gate is insulated and that gate insulation is made up of uh, silicon dioxide. So that's the key difference uh, between MOSFET and the JFET and further uh, the MOSFET is divided into two types. First is the enhancement type and the second one is the depletion type. Enhancement type MOSFET uh, is referred to as E MOSFET and depletion type MOSFET is referred to as uh, D MOSFET. And these two MOSFETs, E MOSFET and the D MOSFET, they are further divided into two types, the N channel E MOSFET and P channel E MOSFET. And same uh, for D MOSFET, uh, N channel D MOSFET and P channel D MOSFET. And, um, and then uh, the MOSFET, uh, it can also be referred by this different name, which you see here on the screen, IGFET, uh, which means insulated gate, gate uh, field effect transistor. And this name has came because the gate in the MOSFET is insulated. So that's the another name of MOSFET. Uh, now let's move on to the next slide and see the construction of the N-channel type uh, uh, depletion type MOSFET. Um, and here you see these two pictures. Uh, the first uh, is basically the construction and the second one is the schematic symbol of and channel uh, depletion type MOSFET. So let's first, uh, let's first see this uh, uh, picture A and in this you see uh, we have, uh, we have drain, we have gate and the source similar to JFET. And then we have uh, this block you see made up of p-type material. Uh, so this is called your substrate. Uh, substrate. And then in which, and then here from the drain to source you have this n-channel, uh, which is made up of n-type material. And then if, as I said before, that MOSFET it has insulated gate. So that insulation you can see over here. So this insulation is between the channel and the gate. And um, so this insulation is, uh, is is basically present here. So this is the construction of uh, N-channel type uh, MOSFET and that's how it looks like. Uh, and if you see the symbol, this is the symbol you see, uh, drain gate source and then substrate uh, is here and from substrate to the channel, uh, this way the direction has been shown, shown for uh, N-channel type uh, JFET. So quick way to uh, remember the direction is uh, for me, I remember in this way, I see here P and then N. So in a diode current flows from uh, P, and, P, and, uh, P and diode. Okay, so that's why the current, the direction has been shown here and that's how I remember it, uh, the direction of the current. Uh, so this is the symbol of uh, MOSFET and let's see next. So now in this, uh, in this particular picture you see the P-channel depletion type MOSFET and uh, as its name says P-channel that means the channel which we are going to have is of P-type. P uh, therefore if the channel is P then the substrate uh, will be of opposite type material which is your N-type material. And this block represents the N-type material. And then again, you have an insulated gate here and then drain, gate and source. And uh, as I said before, if you see this is P and this is N, so this the direction of current should be like this, P N. And that's why you see a direction of current like this on the symbol and that's how I remember. So this is the symbol for um, N-channel, uh, P-channel depletion type MOSFET. Now next is the working of a n-channel d MOSFET. So in the n-channel d MOSFET, uh, in this particular case, we have zero gate voltage, which means the gate is shorted to the source. And in this particular type, uh, the ID current uh, will flow in the 
uh, n type n type channel so this is your n type channel and in this the drain current will flow and the p type uh, n channel uh, this p type n channel they will basically form a reverse bias uh, which will result in a zero current in the substrate so this is the substrate and that will uh, and in this there will be a zero current and here you see since it is grounded so the gate current is going to be zero and uh, and because and that is because of extremely high uh, resistance of uh, silicon dioxide uh, this insulated gate this has really high resistance now if we see here the we have this vdd positive voltage is uh, basically given to the drain uh, to the drain terminal and uh, so this in this case your vgs vg vgs is uh, basically zero or gate is uh, zero gate voltage is zero and then you are giving the positive supply through the drain and on the right hand side you see this curve between the drain current and the uh, vds which is your um, drain to source voltage and in this curve you see that um, when your vgs is equal to zero at that point uh, you have this vp where vp is your pinch of voltage and uh at and this pinch of voltage corresponding to that is your idss and idss is your uh drain current uh when your uh, gate is shorted okay so this idss corresponds to vgs is equals to zero so at that when vgs is equals to zero at that point whatever the drain current you obtained is your idss and if you notice that uh, we have other two uh voltages over here uh first just uh here is negative vgs and the second one is uh positive vgs that means if you make the gate to source voltage negative so right now in this particular case it is zero volts but if you make this gate to source voltage negative then what will happen and if you do that then uh in that case uh you will be able to achieve uh, the pinch of voltage early you see here this is the pinch of voltage and uh, since this vgs is uh, low lower than the zero volts so you see that the pinch of voltage will be achieved uh, early uh, compared to the uh, compared to when the voltage is zero volts okay and as you increase the voltage you see here this is the increased voltage which is positive vgs um, if you make this voltage uh, voltage between the gate and the source as positive then what will happen the pinch of voltage will be achieved later on okay so somewhere around here it will uh, your, your pinch of voltage will be achieved um, and and through this uh through this curve we can say that um, basically when your vgs is negative uh in this case your mosfet works as a depletion type mosfet and when your vgs is positive then it works as a enhancement type mosfet so now let's see next uh, so these are the two types uh, when your first is when your vgs is positive and uh, second one is when your vgs is negative so let's uh, let's see what happens when your vgs is positive when your vgs is positive the positive gate voltage uh, basically attracts the free electrons into the channel uh, from the substrate and thereby enhancing its uh, conductivity so when the vgs is positive and this vgs voltage is positive then the d type mosfet is basically set to be operating in the uh, enhancement mode and in the second case uh, when your vgs is negative then in that case uh, uh, this negative vgs it will set up an electric field that will uh, repel the electrons uh, free electrons present in the channel and if if your vgs is negative then that type of mosfet is your d type mosfet uh, which which means it is operating in the operating in the depletion mode so this is your uh, and and when you have so as you can see here in the first type uh, in this case drain current increases as the positive gate voltage is applied and in this case uh, drain current decreases with the negative uh, gate voltage as you can see negative voltage is applied and uh, the the free electrons will be rippled and it will uh, ripple enough that uh, the id current will uh, basically reduce to the uh, zero okay so these are the two types of uh, uh, two types of MOSFET, uh, and, and now let's see next.
this is the transconductance curve of an channel depletion type MOSFET and as you can see when the VGS is zero you have some drain current here okay and that drain current is IDSS uh, which means uh, the drain current when the gate is shorted okay and as you decrease the voltage so we have decreased the voltage VGS so you see this uh, on the on this x-axis we have a uh, gate to source voltage and here you have negative voltage and you have positive voltage and at the center you have the uh, zero gate voltage okay and as you start decreasing the voltage towards left okay so when you decrease the voltage what you see here at at uh, as you decrease the voltage your drain current also starts to decrease okay and it will decrease to a certain extent that your id will also becomes zero so as you increase as you increase the uh, uh, negative gate voltage then your drain current will also uh, reduce to zero at at some threshold point okay and uh, when when it is it reaches to zero it's usually called vgs off because your uh, drain current is zero and and on the other side, on the right hand side, as you increase, starts increase, uh, increasing the voltage uh, above zero, zero volts. So you see here from this zero volts, we are increasing the voltage to positive VGS, for example, like one volts, two volts, three volts, and so on. And here it was like, like negative one, negative two, and so on. So as you increase the voltage, positive voltage, then what will happen? Um, your the drain current it will starts increasing as you can see here this is the IDSS and then this drain current starts increasing in the uh, uh, in, in the positive enhancement mode as the voltage increases so this is this particular curve is called your transconductance curve and let's see next so next we have is the p-channel depletion type MOSFET and uh, this is the construction of the p-channel and as it name says p-channel so that's why we have channel is the p and the blocks represents your uh, substrate and then you have day, drain gate and source and this is the symbol uh, uh, gate drain and source and the direction will be this way and this is the transconductance curve so it's all repetitive uh, i've shown you uh, this before and uh, this uh, i think this uh, transconductance curve is new so uh, and and you see if you compare with the previous one uh, this was for n channel and the direction was like this whereas for p channel the direction of the current will be like this and that is due to the p channel it is which is formed between the drain and the source so what happens um, now in this particular construction if you apply the negative gate voltage then your uh, MOSFET will work in the enhancement mode and then if you, it works in the enhancement mode that means the drain current is going to increase and that's what you see here the drain current is increasing and this is your VGS uh, when it is equals to zero volts and that's your IDSS and you see here and as you apply the positive gate voltage then your IDSS uh, starts to your ID uh, the drain current starts to decrease so it's totally opposite than what you saw in previously and we have a reason for that because the construction is different here channel is your P and then substrate is your N and that's why you see a opposite transconductance curve uh, enhancement mode is achieved when the VGS is negative and depletion mode is uh, achieved when um when the when the voltage is positive all right so uh so this was the p channel depletion type um uh, and now let's see the next is uh, we have n channel enhancement type mosfet so if you see this um if the, if you see this construction of n channel enhancement type mosfet uh then and if you compare with the previous one a depletion type then you see that this substrate is uh, bigger than uh, compared to the previous one and it is joining the uh, this insulated gate this this substrate is joined towards the insulated gate and then insulated gate is again is uh, is basically silicon dioxide uh, and then uh, and because of this there is no channel of conduction between the drain and the source terminal uh, so uh, so yeah because this substrate is basically joined with the gate and that's why there is no connection between uh, the, between the drain and the source terminal and we will see how it works and how the drain current flows in this particular type of uh, MOSFET 
let's see next uh, so n channel enhancement type mosfet uh, is the same picture which you saw in the previous um, slide same circuit uh, vgs is positive vdd is positive and then here is the symbol now now in this symbol if you notice if you compare with the previous one then you see um, the direction is same in n channel it's the direction of the current is shown inside but then these this is critical to to know that these lines you see this is not straight this is straight line but then these are broken in between uh, and the reason for that is depletion type is normally on device and this is normally off uh, why we say depletion type is normally on and when I say depletion type is normally on, uh, that means in depletion type, you will have a straight line and there will be no broken lines in depletion type. So you understand in depletion type, you have when your symbol is, uh, let's, let's maybe go back and then see. So like this is your depletion type. You see that the, the line is solid. Uh, there is no broken lines here. And the reason for that is because our depletion type is a normally on device because even if your VGS is zero in this type of uh, in this type of MOSFET then also you are able to have some uh, drain current and that's why it is called normally on whereas in the enhancement type if your VGS is zero then your drain current is going to be zero okay when your vgs is equals to zero gate voltage is zero in this particular type there will be no drain current and that's why this is called normally off device and and due to that reason you see these broken lines in this uh, symbol so always remember when you see the broken lines that means that's your enhancement type and when you see the solid lines that's your depletion type okay and at the below we see two curves the first we see between the vds and the id uh, which uh, which shows that uh, there there is a threshold voltage VGS uh, TH TH stands for threshold uh, when it is achieved after that the drain current uh, will starts to flow, flowing what does that mean like there is a certain uh, threshold voltage as you increase the positive voltage there is a threshold voltage you will achieve after that what will happen uh, your drain current uh, will start flowing so that uh, the minimum gate to source voltage uh, that makes uh, the drain current current flow is is basically called your uh, threshold voltage um, and which is designated by this VGS TH and when the gate voltage is less than v, uh, VGS when the gate voltage is less than that uh, threshold voltage then that means the drain current is zero okay and the value of this uh, threshold voltage VGS TH varies from uh, one enhancement uh, mosfet to uh, to the next uh, to the to the next broken channel line and that broken line as i said before uh, is basically uh, the off condition uh, which exists in the zero gate voltage so and so you see here that as you increase the vgs uh, from let's say here it's positive 4 volts and then positive 8 volts and positive 12 volts you see there is an increase in the drain current uh, as we increase the voltage and here in this particular curve uh, which is between the VGS and the ID you see there is a threshold voltage here and as the voltage VGS is increased the same current uh, is also increasing okay so this was your N channel enhancement type MOSFET now let's see p channel enhancement type mosfet so this is the p channel enhancement type mosfet here and the direction is has been shown here and it's outward uh, pointing away uh, from the p channel and um, and then if you notice uh, that in this particular type you have negative uh, gate uh, negative gate and then you have this uh, and the drain voltage is also negative so the gate and the drain voltage in these in this particular case they both are negative and these are the required uh, polarities for biasing the p channel enhancement type mosfet uh, and here uh, as you see the this transconductance curve is is different than uh, what we saw before it was like this pointing from left to right this this way whereas in this one it's going to be like this because the polarities are different here so this is negative this is negative so that means your drain current increases as your negative voltage increases in the p channel enhancement type mosfet okay 
Now let's move on to the next, uh, the MOSFET biasing technique. Um, and and then it says the zero bias can be used only with the depletion type mode. So in the depletion type mode, we use zero bias uh, biasing technique. And this zero bias uh, biasing technique is very popular uh, technique um, in, in the dip for biasing the depletion type MOSFET. And other techniques can also be used in the depletion type, which you already know is the self bias, voltage divider, current source. Uh, all these three are used in the depletion type. Uh, I won't be going in detail with uh, detail uh, detail in discussing these three types because we have already covered and you have already seen in the BJT. It's pretty much the same thing. Uh, and and then in the e MOSFET, there is the only type, only one type of uh, biasing you can do is the drain feedback bias. Um, so so that's the only biasing you can do in the e, e MOSFET. And then in the depletion MOSFET, uh, we do the zero bias, which is which is pretty uh, pretty popular. Okay, let's uh, let's see the zero bias uh, technique, which is used in N channel depletion type MOSFET, and uh, in this, uh, so let's read here. This form of bias is called zero bias because the potential difference between the gate source region is zero. So the potential here you see uh, between the gate and the source. This is your source. This is your gate. This is your drain. The potential between them is zero in this particular case. And this is the circuit. This is the AC input voltage is applied. And C in is the coupling capacitor. And here also this is the coupling capacitor. And uh, RL is the load uh, resistance, RD is the drain resistance, VDD is the positive voltage uh, applied to the drain side. Okay, and on the right hand side, you see the curve between VGS and the IT. And this curve we have seen previously also, and you see that uh, when the VGS is negative, at that time your drain current decreases, and when, the, when your VGS is positive, your drain current increases. And at this point, this is your Q point, which is the operating point. And you see that uh, this is the input uh, input current uh, input current, uh, and then this is the amplified uh, signal you get. Okay, and uh, so this is this is a circuit you'll be using and then there are a couple of equations which have been mentioned over here uh, if you want to calculate the dc voltage at uh, drain then you will be using this formula vds is equals to vdd minus id ssrd okay so this formula has been formed from here you can apply the kirchhoff voltage law and you will get the same equation and then uh, in this type of biasing technique, it is common to select uh, RD, which is your drain resistance, uh, and that can be selected selected uh, in this way by by using this formula. RD is equals to VDD divided by two IDSs. I think we have covered this uh, already in the first in the second lecture, like how to calculate uh, what are the condition for it. Okay. Uh, now let's see next. Next we have. Uh, Enhancement type MOSFET, uh, which which cannot be biased using the zero bias technique, because uh, in this particular case, your gate source voltage or your the gate voltage must exceed uh, the VGS threshold. It, it must exceed the threshold voltage. Then only it it will be able to produce the drain current. Below that, there will be no drain current. And because of this reason, zero bias or self bias or current source bias. Uh, all these techniques cannot be used with enhancement type MOSFETs, okay? And this particular uh, circuit you see here shows the drain feedback bias, uh, which is similar to collector feedback uh, bias uh, used with uh, bipolar transistors. Um, and, and this type of uh, technique you can use in the eMOSFET. So this is the circuit, and on the right you see uh, this is the this is the curve between the VGS and the ID, and you, as you see here, VGS uh, threshold voltage is given here is one volts, and after that your drain current increases, and at this point when your VGS on, uh, this is given. This VGS on is uh, equals to 10 volts, uh, and then at that particular point the ID on is 10 milliamps. So these all these points VGS on when the when the e MOSFET is turned turned on, 
and then this uh, this VGSTH and ID on all these three values are critical. Uh, if you if you see the data sheet for Motorola uh, three and one six nine. Uh, a MOSFET, then you will see that they are typical values which are defined for these three, um, and uh, these three, uh, you can say voltages and the currents. Okay, uh, and then if you uh, you can use this equation to find the uh, drain resistance, which is equals to VDD minus VGS on divided by ID on. And since the current gate current is zero, no voltage is dropped across the gate resistance RG. Therefore, is going to be uh, gate resistance RG. Therefore, we have uh, the gate source voltage. It's going to be equal to uh, VDS. Okay. Now let's move on to next handling uh, the MOSFETs. Uh, so the one big disadvantage with the MOSFET is that they are very sensitive uh, to electrostatic uh, discharge uh, and that is because it has uh, insulated gate source region and that gate source region is very thin okay so because of that uh, like it can be punctured easily and uh, it's very thin and uh, that's why it's it's like very sensitive uh, MOS, uh, sensitive device so this let's read here the C uh, SiO2 uh, insulating layer is ex extremely thin and can be easily punctured by an electro electrostatic discharge. Uh, so that's the same thing. The following is the list of MOSFET handling precautions. So never insert or remove MOSFETs from a circuit uh, with the power on. So that's one thing you have to remember. And then uh, never apply input signals when the DC power supply is off. And wear a ground strap on your wrist uh, when handling the MOSFET device because uh, because that will keep uh, your body at ground potential. Uh, and then uh, you have uh, when sorting MOSFETs, keep the device leads in contact with the conductive foam. So that's advisable to do that or connect a shorting ring around the leads. So. Uh, these are the, some of the precautions you should take uh, when you are handling with uh, MOSFETs. So that's the end of the lecture. Thank you so much for watching.